Hello YouTube. Um this is Tom Darkey 26241. Um and I guess this will be my first video using this hypercam thing. Um so I'm going to see how it works. So I thought a good thing uh to show you guys that I haven't um was how to effectively use Windows Movie Maker. Um it comes packaged with Windows Vista. Um I'm not sure if it comes with all the versions, but it comes with Home Premium, which I'm sure um, plenty of you people are using. So, my friend asked me the other day, how do you use it? And, uh, maybe she'll watch this video. Um, so first of all, just click on Windows Movie Maker and start and open it. And I'm just going to make you guys, like, a little sample video. Um, I don't know what we should make it with, but, um, oh, I have an idea. But, alright, so f this is how it looks. Um, first of all, you just want to go to, um, Import Media. Um, you can import videos, uh, sound, mp3, um, pictures. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to import some pictures. I know, I'll make a senior pic video with my senior picture proofs. So I'm just going to highlight them all, so they'll all import. Hit import. So basically it's just going to add all the pictures. And then what you want to do is just hit all. And what you do is you drag them um, down to where it says video at the bottom and it will just add them uh, onto your thing right here see and it just makes little slides of all of them so right now my video is two minutes and 55 seconds um, and it'll show you like a little preview of your video right here so you can press play and it'll run through your videos like that And that's just basically a slideshow. Um, now, what you can also do is, when you're making a slideshow like this with pictures, it's sort of boring if you're watching it and it doesn't have any sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sounds. So what you want to do first is just um, get rid of all your pictures once they're imported. You don't uh, need to save them because they're already in your video. So you just hit the delete button. Now I'm going to go back to import media. Um, and you can go to wherever you keep your music um, on your computer. Um, I'm actually going to use my LimeWire file because these are unprotected. They're not like iTunes files. So it's a good, it's a good song. Hmm. This is a good song. So we'll just import that. And now what you do is you'll see up here it's imported um, in this big blank area. And you just take it and drag it down to where it says audio music and see the blue thing you can it depends where you start it so if you want to start the music in the middle of the movie or if you want to start at the beginning just drag it all the way over to the beginning so there you go so now it'll have sound um, but you see now it's a little bit too short so I'm gonna have to add something in so let's see how it sounds now Alright, so that's sort of how it'll look. Um, now what you can do is um, you can add a little thing at the beginning. Um, basically like a title. Um, so you just hit titles and credits. And it'll load. It takes a second because my computer's slow. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put title at the beginning. And then you can just enter a title, uh, you know, for what your video. Um, I think I'm going to name mine, um, Senior Pictures, um, I didn't spell senior right, that would help, um, and then I guess you could put in, like, you know, the the year um, or the date, whatever. I'm just going to put August 2009. That's where I took them. Um, and then you can change the animation, uh, like how you want it to come in. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, and I'll just preview it over here on the side, as you can see. Um, 
I like this one. Um, it's like overlapping, and I think it looks really cool. So I'm also going to change the color because I don't like the blue. The blue will always be standard. So you just come in here, and you can just pick another color. I like the black. It looks good. And you can do all kinds of different things. Um, change the font. Um, it's good. I like that font. And um, you can bold it. Um, you can change the position, left, right, whatever. I like it on the left. So I'm going to add this, this title. It adds just to the beginning of your file. So this is how it will look over here, you can see. And that's how that'll look. Um, you can also add transitions if you want. Um, since this is a slideshow of pictures, I'm not going to put them in, but um, sometimes they come in handy. Um, basically what you do is, like, say you want to use this one, and it'll give you a little preview on the side if you click on it. Just hit play. And it'll show you how it does that. Um, so basically you just drag it, and you just drag it into the middle. Like that. And then this is how it would look. Which I don't like, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Just going to delete that part. And now we're just going to make sure it's long enough to fill up the video. And it's a little bit, sh the pictures are a little bit short. They end before the song, so um, it's really easy to just extend the video. You just click on a clip, so these would be your different clips, the pictures. And I'm just going to click one, you go to the end, so this red thing comes up, and just drag it, make it a little bit longer. Um, I'll make this one a little bit longer, and I'll make this one a little bit longer. And that should, maybe this one too, a little bit. should just make it a little bit it's a little too short here we go there now it's all lined up so we'll just click here and make sure it ends at the same point okay so that works good um, basically that's a, just a, a very brief um, demo you just want to make sure you make the sound and the video end at the same time. Otherwise, you'll get like five minutes of a black screen, which, you know, would really suck. And there you go. So now it ends at the same time, the music and the video. Um, and now if you want to put a, cr a, th a uh, credit at the end, you just hit credits at the end. Um, you know, you type in what you want, like thanks, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not going to put that in because I just think it, it's not really needed here, but... Um, you just hit add to it, I don't know, add it to the end. Um, you can also add effects to your, um, movie, like 3D Ripple, which is like this, it'll make your thing shake, edge detection, um, I really don't know what that is, but, you know, it's, if you just want to make a simple video, um, it's really easy to do, and, um, I found this easy to use for a lot of projects for school and stuff and it's really an effective piece of software if you know how to use it correctly um, so now you do if you want to make your movie like say this is what you know you like it like this you just click publish movie right here and it'll come up with this text box and it comes up with a few options say you just want to watch it back on your computer or email it to your friends you can um, well actually just publish on your computer or put it on YouTube whatever just publish it to your computer you could also just publish it directly to a DVD. Um, you could publish it to a recordable CD, um, or you could send it as an email, or you could record a tape for your digital video camera. I'm just going to save it on my computer. And you just click Next. You can save it as whatever name you want. So now it'll ask you to choose the settings. All right, and so basically you see we got a nice video here. You can burn it to a DVD, or just put it online, or whatever. Um, so it's an easy way to make movies, um, you know, it's not that hard, and it's good software, it's built right in, um, it's just, you know, if you know how to use it, then, you know, it's best to your advantage. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this first video of me um, using, uh, I think it's called Handycam or something like that. Um, I just wanted to see how this thing would work out with, you know, the screen capture. Um, so, if you like this video, comment, subscribe, leave, uh, you know, rate it five stars. And I hope this you know helps you out making a video or whatnot. And um, thanks for watching.